The topic that I want to talk with you about is turning points, like turning points in life. When I think of a turning point, I'm thinking of something like major, where it was like an epiphany and it made me like change sort of like the pace of where my life was. I've moved five times growing up. Becoming a mother is definitely one of the biggest turning points in my life, completely changed my life. When my father passed, I'm at the turning point right now to get back and get sober again. You know, I had this this incredible woman, spoke six languages, Wall Street attorney, a real catch, and we were engaged to be married for five years. I miss cued here or there, and I think she's the one that got away. Everything in my life has been so dramatic. <laughs> what have you learned? If you were talking between me and you, you know, your life is different than my life. And certain incidents happen compared to other people. Some people have, you know, ongoing, like, instances of just, like, bad things that happen. More voluntary, I think, in, like, self-reflection and, and wanting to be, like, happy and pursuing things that I enjoy instead of just kind of going along with the flow and just saying, okay, I'll accept it for what it is, which I don't really, I can't really do. I'm always somebody who just stays the course, right? I don't really deviate from much, and I'm extremely attentive, so the external forces are not as likely to get me. What advice would you give someone about turning points in their life? If I could give younger me one piece of advice, would be to not get too attached to a certain outcome. Maybe try to just trust the process and embrace the ups and downs and the twists and turns that you are having from turning points. Don't take time for granted at all. That's definitely number one. When you have like that sort of epiphany or realization or whatever, it's ultimately up to you to, you know, have that moment and say, okay, am I going to actually do something to, you know, expound on this, to get things right, to actually do what I need to do, or am I just going to shrug my shoulders and, you know, act like it's not a thing? Just always remain true to yourself. Listen to the truth.